Get up. Mm. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're under no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. Oh, 
My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. No, man. I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Do you, uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. 
Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, son. 